Hello everybody, my name is Hakim El Kadri. I'm responsible of the product at uh, Rado. And I would like to present you the product that we develop uh, for 2020. My first product is the Captain Cook that I want to talk about. Uh, this product is coming from 1962. In 1962, that was really the sporty watch of the collection, something really uh, amazing. So uh, it has really the, the roots from the past and lots of emotion also on the product. We have different details. Um, we have the dial, which is domed. We have the sapphire crystal, which is chevet sapphire crystal. We have the bezel, which is in ceramic, and the ceramic is going down in order to read better also the time uh, when you dive. So it's really better. I mean, the angle gives you the better visibility on the dial. We have the rice grain bracelet, for instance, on the, the one that we have on the screen. The rice grain bracelet was really a product, um, a bracelet that was used in the past. That reminds really the, the 60s. The new Captain Cook has 300 meter water resistance. So we have it in two types of material. We have the stainless steel, but we have also the bronze. And I would like to start to talk about the bronze model. Let me take uh, the product in the hands. So here we can see the bronze piece. The keys, which is in bronze, we have the bezel in bronze, we have the crown in bronze, and we have also the buckle in bronze. But the case back is in titanium to avoid any allergies, possible allergies. The bronze here is um, an alloy of CuAl, mean it's a copper aluminium. The copper aluminium is the material that is used normally to manufacture propolis of the bone. Um, this uh, uh, bronze has a color of, uh, I mean, it's a little bit more yellowish than the bronze that everybody knows. So usually the bronze is a base of copper and tin, which has a color which is a little bit more um, dark, a little bit more reddish. But this one has really a color uh, that is um, really yellowish. And um, so that everybody knows that the bronze is going to evolve. The bronze is going to, to change uh, on the wrist of uh, everybody, depend on where he lives, depends on the skin, depend on the temperature, depend on the humidity, depend on everything. So the, the bronze is going to evolve. And the point is here at Rado, we don't, didn't want to have the product that is going to evolve uh, from our house to your warehouse, to the shop, and we don't want to have also the customer so buying the, the, the watch or touching the watch, and that is going to evolve. In order to avoid this, we added a um, coating of gold on top of the bronze elements, so the crown, the keys, the bezel, and also the buckle. So we added a layer of gold of 3 microns and it's a 23 carats of gold. So this layer is going to stay on the case. After a few months, it's going also to evolve and the coloration of the watch is going to start to change. The watch will be packed also in a microfiber and we have also a small information that the bronze is going to evolve. So it's really important that the message is given to all the retailers, all the people in the shop, they have really to inform the customer that the bronze is going to evolve. We have few details on the product. The watch is built like this. So we have first of all the bezel that is going in depth, so it's going inside. We have also the sapphire crystal, which was made in the past uh, in uh, a zalid, which, is, uh, a, which was a plastic. Today is a sapphire crystal, which is really complicated. So you can see on the screen also the shape of the chevet. The um, hardness of the sapphire crystal is 2000 vickers. The next product uh, harder than uh, sapphire crystal is diamond. So we can use only diamond tools to 
to manufacture the sapphire crystal. So here you can see the shape of, uh, of the box and we have also the shape of the dial which is also curved. Now I'll show you also on the screen the different type of sapphire crystal. We have the flat sapphire crystal, which is used by all the watch manufacturers. We have the single curve sapphire crystal, which has a flat surface and a dome shape on, on top. So this could deform also uh, the visibility on uh, the dial. We have the curved sapphire crystal, which is the usual type of uh, um, sapphire we are using at Rado. And then, so we have the two most complicated uh, products, which are the box-shaped sapphire crystal and also the chevet box uh, sapphire. The chevet box has in fact two angles. So the box sapphire is having only a flat surface, um, radius, and then a foot. And the chevet has a first angle, and then after that, a second angle to be flat on top. So it's really the most complicated uh, sapphire crystal to manufacture. The small detail I wanted to talk also about is the anchor. The anchor which we have also, I take again also the watch in my hands, is the, um, the anchor. So that represents the watch is an automatic uh, watch. The anchor is also moving, turning. So if you turn the watch, you can see the anchor which is um, turning. In the past, the first watches and also in this collection was in the past having the back of the anchor which was a ruby. And the ruby um, is uh, something that is going to leave um, the anchor turning well at the beginning when you buy the watch. And normally after five years, when you have really to bring back to the service the, the watch, so you will see uh, that the anchor is going to turn uh, less and that is really uh, the information to bring back your watch to the service. That was the purpose of uh, the, um, this anchor at the beginning. Um, as a detail we took also from the past is also the date which is in red, so printed in red. And also uh, from the past we have the case back where we have the three sea hoses. And so um, this is the meaning that we have to screw down the case back. So in order to have, so usually we can have either two uh, sea hoses or three sea hoses. The three sea hoses is when we press on the case back or we have four screw and the case back is always at the same position. Or here we have the three sea hoses in order to uh, to screw down the case back and to always have one uh, seahorse with the head on top. Um, so for the collection of the um, Captain Cook, so we have in the bronze collection the brown dial, so it's a brown matte uh, high-tech ceramic. We have the green version, okay, with a green leather strap, the green bezel and the green dial. And the last one is the blue version, which is really, really nice. So we have the blue bezel, the blue uh, high-tech ceramic, and also the uh, blue leather strap. So that's it for the bronze. Now I would like to talk about the next one, which is the stainless steel version. I would like to take I mean, the watch and maybe to show you a few different things on the watch, okay? So here, so this product, um, and also I like also to touch the watch with my, my hands because uh, the motto is feel it and really you have to feel the product. So I'm taking them in my hands. Okay, if you see here, so we have um, the 300 meter water resistance. So here, the, the difference between the 200 and the 300 is Okay, written on the dial. Okay, simple, 300 meters. Um, so all details are the same, but uh, here the dial is having, okay, a kind of gradient on the colors from the dark blue to uh, the silver color. If you can see here, so it's really simple. So we have uh, the easy clip system. So you can remove the bracelet, you can reclip it like this, really without any tool. This is really fantastic. And that is something that you can really exchange your straps. So we have also pouches that um, are having, I mean, a natto strap, a leather strap. So we have a full bunch of uh, different uh, straps, nattos. 
so you can extend your strap. You can really personalize your style. Furthermore, what we have also is something also for, I mean, most of the, the, the breasts that we have in the collection, the um, buckle is made um, in titanium. So the titanium is hypoallergenic. It is really the most sensitive part of the skin is really this part uh, on the body. And this is the reason why most of the buckles are made in titanium to avoid any troubles.